Hey everyone's Dave here and welcome to I expect you to die free overview. We were at last back from vacations, quite a long one, I feel like this is the longest pause I've taken from the channel, we'll pause but the videos kept rolling anyways. It's nice to be back, the states were a roller coaster <laughs> essentially because I had some kind of expectations to certain cities that I've been. To summarize in like two major points, I would say y'all have good food, <laughs> like every restaurant that I've been, doesn't matter if in the city or on a country, like I would eat very well regardless. The bad thing, um, there are a lot of drug addicts on the streets, like almost in every city. What's up with that? Like I've been to Seattle, drugs. Portland, drugs. San Francisco, oh my god, that was like the trashiest of all. And that's happening literally in the center, one block or two from just the luxurious stores. And uh, it's crazy, like the stuff that I've seen, I never had that here in Europe. <laughs> Besides the shenanigans, I've also done more VR than I would think, because it wasn't planned, but I found a VR arcade in Vegas, couple advertisements on the streets for VR games, and I just stumbled upon the Meta store somewhere south of San Fran. So like overall, I'm very much pleased with the trip, but now it's time to get back to work and start a new season for us here. <laughs> so I expect you today free is a third iteration in the series was a puzzle narration adventure game where as an agent phoenix rising from the ashes you need to discover what dr zor has cooked up for us encounter a new mastermind villain and survive all the chaos that will be thrown at us i was kind of scared going into this game simply because it might have been perceived as just yet another part of the lore or story that's going on i never liked the low quality graphics or just like the clarity overall of the vision. It's like two previous games have been stuck in the past and even though the games are very much entertaining and hilarious at best, they were never perfect. Though I'm happy to report that you'll see in the gameplay anyways, the graphics are absolutely upgraded to certain point of the art style, which is completely sufficient in my eyes and with couple other quality of life solutions, like there's absolutely no bad things I can say about it. And that happens very rarely, so it's good to see the series being back in full motion. I don't know if it have been like one or two years only, but the moment I decided to try out the first game, I instantly fell in love with that. And here we are that will be doing the third playthrough of course. Let's go back to the agency. <laughs> We're back. That's essentially what's going on. I mean, we're familiar with the game. Or the series. Let's go. <laughs> oh. There's gonna be subtitles? In the third installation. It's exactly the same. Bring the capsule closer and place the capsule. Place an item of identification as well as your broken earpiece inside the capsule to connect to a handler. I mean, it's gonna be more comfortable if I'll just use telekinesis every single time. I can just move, but. 
the pneumatic tube has been opened. Please place the capsule back inside the tube for transportation. <laughs> A new earpiece is being delivered via pneumatic tube. Please open the capsule and place the earpiece in your ear. I mean, it's a cute tutorial. Hello, hello. Who in the world is... I can't believe it. Agent Felix once again living up to your name. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of you if I wanted to. <laughs> and believe me, I don't. Did we die? Let's see. Ah, I should have known you'd make your way to our Romanian control point after you saved the world blowing up Zor's base. Speaking of explosion, uh, you are right. Let's make sure nothing's wrong with the telekinetic implant in your brain. Uh, try picking up the capsule we just sent you and freezing it in air. <laughs> Looks like your TK is okay. Good thing we wouldn't want something attached to all our agents' brains to malfunction. <laughs> well, you do need to complete the recommunication protocol you initiated. Here, I'll walk you through the rest of it. Just like old times. Oh, yes. Let's see. You're in Papa Dog Romania, which should be this switch right here. That was not my fault. <laughs> the surge blew the main breaker panel clean out of the wall. Bring it closer so we can get it working and get this power back on. Hover the panel in place so it'll be easier to work on. You'll need to solder those wires on the back before attempting a manual reactivation. There should be a soldering gun in that desk. If there's not, someone messed up. Great. Use that device to solder the broken wires, and we'll have this place powered up in no time. If you need to, refer to the projector slot. Great job. The breaker panel is fixed and should be ready for manual reactivation. Let's put it back. I have a diploma for a reason. To use it in VR. <laughs> That's the Agent Phoenix I remember. You know, in order to avoid another surge, let's turn things on one box at a time. The cranks and tools you need to activate those boxes should be in this room. I mean, I should be searching anywhere in this game. <laughs> this looks like something, but... Nothing for now. It says here that three unique levers are required to activate all the boxes. Where did those tools get to? And the third one... oh. Oh, that's gonna be activated, okay. There we go. Kinda similar tutorial, honestly, like in the same places and stuff. Maybe there's a tool in a drawer somewhere. I usually keep things in drawers. It's a good system. Yeah, that's how things work. started outfitting our agents with telekinetic implants to reach high places, our ladder budget has... 
only one electrical box left to activate before power is fully restored, and I can safely flip this switch in front of me. Oh, it's so tempting, Agent. I mean, the place looks a little bit suspicious, okay. <laughs> There we are. Well, I dare say you and I are back on the job. I never thought I'd be saying that again after we lost you. <laughs> I'll spare you the sentimentality, but... Well, I was ready to call it a day after that Juniper business. But we're a team. If you're here, I'm here. Aww. Speaking of which, I have just the mission for the great Agent Phoenix. But I wonder if it's the same voice actor, though? I think so. <laughs> A classic. You showed me the door while I'm breaking it down. Even you can ignore the new world that I found. Now I'm forging a fight when I'm certain. It's true. I'm less than impressed. I feel better than you. Oh, I've made you before. I can take you apart. I'll reach into your core and I'll rip out your heart. No begging down, no giving up. No more accepting, just good enough. I have a world to make. Amazing as always. Well, look at this place. I like what you've done with it. Your first mission is being delivered now. Don't worry, we're easing you back into field work. So... Because I always had a problem with like low fidelity graphics or things were a bit blurry normally. But I feel like they stepped it up. Because the textures are sharper, definitely, and the objects are like better quality. So it's a perfect game. <laughs> because that was always my gripe with the series, and now it looks amazing. And with the addition of subtitles, like, what can I want more from it? It seems to be just the old classic I expect you to die. I'll try to play a little bit the first one. I don't think I'm gonna complete it, but 
I'll do the series anyway, so. Now that you're back, it's time to get to work. We'll start you off with something simple, without world-shaking ramifications. Dr. Roxana Prism is a former inventor for the agency and the one responsible for creating the telekinetic implant in your head using a crystal known as kinesium. Dr. Prism has recently been absent from multiple check-ins and is considered missing. We're looking into her whereabouts, but in the meantime, she has sensitive research into kinesium that should not fall into the wrong hands. Go to her home in sunny California and retrieve that research, just so we know it's safe. I love that it's the whole lore, <laughs> like... Oh, wow. So this is where Dr. Prism lives. Well, nothing looks out of the ordinary besides... Well, everything that looks out of the ordinary. The kinesium research we're looking for is likely in a computer. Find it before someone else does. This looks amazing. I mean, comparing to the other iterations in the series, cause... Normally you'd consider this a normal level of fidelity and graphics, but... At last we have like, a good looking, I expected to do a game. <laughs> proposed replacing agents with robots years ago. It seems she found other uses. Though this robot doesn't seem too concerned about his creator being missing. Hmm, let's stay on task. <laughs> oh, I was hoping you'd be hungry. Hold on, I can make this awesome thing. No, 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 no. I never trusted Dr. Prism's robots, but he seems like a nice guy. Okay, eat this. It's okay if you don't like it. I'll be crushed, but it's okay. Oh. Look at you using telekinesis. If Dr. P were here, I bet she'd be pretty excited about that kinesium in your head. Uh, I spilled it. Sorry. <laughs> I knew you'd love it. The secret is dethawing the shrimp in a microwave. What the hell did I just do? <laughs> Lemon lips? Vodka Cran Unstable But like those are drinks to do what? Cause I need to essentially Well actually what? Uh open this? I guess. How do you like Dr. P's bar cart? I had a couple of design ideas for it myself, you know. That's the agency bar cart that comes with every agency home. Mine is less uh Modified. Where is vodka? Oh, that's a tonic. Jesus, we're going to make some mixology. So what's the first recipe we can do? Incendiary, Neuro... That's not that. <laughs> the key to a gin and tonic is effervescence. I read that in a book. Oh, 
Why are you making this? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Self at room temperature. Well, that should be it. Now, that makes you drunk, right? I hear drunk agents make mistakes. Okay. <laughs> That's, uh, huh. I can't believe she still has that. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Okay, well, I knew I won't solve anything here today, but we're gonna continue the series anyways, like, that's what we do. Everything is quite about right, like, better graphics, you have additional subtitles here, like, the game seems to be essentially the same vibe, like the rest of the series. If you play the previous ones, then it's kind of like a no-brainer. <laughs> just little cues and the thrill of finding out the solutions to bizarre stuff going on. Literally no notes, but I kind of expected this level of polish from Shell Games, so I'm not surprised. I'm also not let down and I'm glad <laughs> it's better.